Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I love it when I get inspired by something I see on the internet. And actually this is a picture of a um, cute little owl made of wood and like the log, the wood with the edges on it. And I thought I can make that into a stamp card. So I'm going to show you my idea of the stamped card that I made with this inspiration. I'm going to use crumb cake as my base for the card. And this is four and a quarter by 11. So, and I'm just going to fold it right in half. And what I've done already is I've taken one of the circles from stylus shape dies and the smallest one and I've cut out two circles for the eyes and put a little heart, a white heart right there and we'll set that aside for a second. So I've got my card base and now I'm going to use this black right here but this is going to be covered up so this is a secret that when you don't want to waste your card stock or your designer series paper I made the eyes and we're just setting them aside for another time. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this down with just my adhesive right here. We'll go ahead and do that. And then we're going to go ahead and build the owl from on top of that. This black piece is five and a quarter by four inches. So it creates an edge around it. The body of the owl is going to be used with this timber 3D folder. And I've already put in the crumb cake cardstock like this. And I ran it through the stamp and cut and embossing machine and brought it out. And this is what it looks like when it's done. Now I'm going to make the body of the owl. So I'm going to go ahead and tear this. So you can start at the top. And you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm kind of going for a, like an egg shaped or an oval. So we just, and every owl is different, just like every person is different. So it's okay if it's one is bigger or smaller, it doesn't matter. So there's the shape of the body. This piece of paper is that same size if you look at it, or you can do it five and a half by four and a quarter and just run it through the big shot because it will have enough edging to go ahead and tear it. Now I'm going to take my dauber here with the Sahara sand and I'm just going to do the edge around this. Just kind of making it so it pops out a little bit. So you can get it as dark as you want. This is just giving us the body of the owl kind of looking like there's the edge of the wood. So there's the body of the owl. So you can kind of see where we're going. Now one of the new hybrid die is the three rings hybrid die right here. And it makes basically logs that are sliced. Let me show you what it is. It's got these logs right here and we're going to cut those out. And the reason why we're cutting them out is that will help to make the eyes. And so I like to turn this upside down and it kind of fits right in those areas where the die goes. Let me get it it like clicks almost in when you know you've got it in the right spot. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this over and go ahead and put it through my cut and emboss machine with the blue and we're going to run it through and it's going to cut and emboss at the same time, which is awesome. So look, we've got these and they come out all the same. So you don't have to do two steps. So we're going to do that again because some of these I want two of. So it doesn't matter. You do, you're probably not going to use them all. I just want to make sure that I get two of the eye, which is the smallest one, which is this one. So I'm going to tear this off for a second and go ahead and get two of that one. So I'm going to flip this over again and so it clicks inside and then we're going to go ahead and run that through. 
the emboss machine and it's going to cut all at the same time. That's the cool thing. And I love how it gives the texture of the wood all and cut. Love it, love it, love it. Love these new hybrid things that Stampin' Up! is doing. So we did that. So I'm going to set that aside. Now we've got all these pieces of wood here. And if you can see, we're going to make eyes right here. And we're going to go ahead and make little wings for the owl. And you could do different ones if you want to, or you can do the smaller ones. I think let's try and do the smaller ones. Now I'm going to make this part be the inside of the wing and then I'm going to just cut this like in a shape. Just kind of giving it an arm like that. Same thing with this other one. I will cut that shape so it's got like a little V, a soft V. Okay, so there's another arm. All right, we're going to do a base also to this. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this and just trim it. We'll glue it onto our card and trim it again. But this is going to be the base of our owl, like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and trim one of these and just not cut, just go ahead and cut it plain out with not any of the embossing on it, just the shape itself. So I'm going to set these all aside because these are extra. Let's go ahead and cut this one right here by itself. Because this is a regular cut, I'm going to go ahead and put the two, then one with the clear and one with the other clear on top. And this is just cutting. We're not doing any embossing because this is going to be where the stamped image goes. So we want it to be flat. There's our stamped image, but it's like the shape of the log. Okay, we've got this right here. Let's go ahead and give all this some texture by daubing the edges of our logs like this and just kind of coming in a little bit. It kind of gives it life to the actual log itself. Love it. And sometimes I like to dab it off when I go ahead and do it to give it a lighter look or if you want the darker look, it's just Depends. Okay, here's the eyes. Do one more. Okay, so we've got our two eyes, our body, and the wings. All right, now we can go ahead and put everything together. But you know what? We need a beak. <laughs> so this is one of the triple punches that we have. And I'm just going to use some pumpkin pie cardstock and just punch out a little triangle here. So there it is. And that will be our little beak for our guy. So first things first, let's go ahead and put his body on there with this on there. And I'm going to let it kind of drop over the actual card so I can ingest it later. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on first. Kind of like the stand of the owl. And I'm going to trim that extra off. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this area right here. And I'm going to go ahead and use dimensionals so we can give him some character with his body kind of being popped up. And love the texture of all these wood dies the timber look okay i know that's a lot of dimensionals i guess i love dimensionals so what can i say all right now i'm going to go ahead and put the body on top okay we've got that now let's go ahead and try for the eyes okay you can kind of see how he's coming to fruition his little 
body and I want his eyes to stick up just a little bit more. So I'm going to, as far as they're going to cup up over his body. So they kind of come like this and I'm going to kind of hold them up. So I've got them in the spot that I want. Okay. Then the next one, and they're going to kind of go right next to each other, almost like they're kissing each other, the eyes. We're going to put some twine in between this and I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So we've got the eyes. Now let's put these eyes on to pop those up and remember to put the little and if you got a pearl, you know, you can put a pearl. These are just hearts, so it just depends on what what you want to put down as far as your and you could do it goofy eyes or however you want or to the side. Doesn't really matter. Okay. So there's our now we can decide where we want our little wings or if we want to trim them a little bit i'm going to trim this one a little bit so it's not quite so bowed out it's more skinny or it's um let's do the same thing here that's why when you do this it's you can't really measure you just take the pieces let's get his little beak on there just because he he looks more like an owl when you see that on there and i'm just going to slide this under Let's get the, take your pick tool and kind of put it in a certain place. So it's in between his eyes. There we go. Now this is the twine that looks so cool. And we're just going to stick this down. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some adhesive on it. But it really doesn't need adhesive on it too bad because it kind of sticks right in between the eyes if you just lift up the eyes a little bit and I take my take your pick tool kind of lift it up and pull it down in between the two eyes <laughs> it's so cute makes them like have eyebrows or something and you can pull that over as much as you want so then we've got that and then let's put his little um, what is it called up? I want this up higher. Cool thing about some of the things that you do, you can decide, oh, I don't like this or I want to change this. I like love that about stamping is if we want to change something we can. Okay, just like that. Okay, let me look at this. I do like the darker inside. Now, when we put these dimensionals, we're going to want to put them on mainly the inside of this, not too close because we're going to put this piece, we're going to go ahead and stamp on this piece. So it will go underneath his like little paws. So if you want to, you can kind of put that in and say, okay, this is where I'm going to put the dimensionals right here at the top. Cause I know that that's, and then maybe right here down at the bottom. Sometimes I like to put my things into place and then just slip a dimensional underneath because then I know I've got it in the right spot that I want to have it in. Same thing with the other side. We'll do that at the top and this one more down at the bottom. And we'll stamp thinking of you which I forgot to grab for this video, but I will show you the finished product. So there's our little owl card, which I think is so much fun. And here's the one that I finished earlier. And you can see how the owls are. I mean, this one's a little skinnier in the face. This one's a little wider. And I love how that each one is going to have kind of its own personality. So this is thinking of you, but I thought this is a great one for the fall or even for school because school is the owl is for knowledge. So because he's so smart. So this is another fun one. Also for graduation, you could put a graduation cap on the owl and it would be so much fun. The thinking of you stamp is actually in the 
ringed with nature and that includes the stamp of your wood right there and it has other sayings in it so just for you get well happy anniversary merry christmas love and warmth so that one coordinates with this whole die so hope you've enjoyed our video on making or recreating this owl from just a photograph on the internet if you are interested in any of these products it will be listed in the description below so hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time on watch it weekly wednesday